Your GCSE English Literature exam is tomorrow, so today I'm going to be giving you some last minute tips to make sure that you ace that exam. My first tip is to not forget to sprinkle quotes all around your essays. It's all well and good saying, this character says this and therefore this. But on top of doing that, sprinkle relevant quotes around your essay, like salt. For example, Mr. Burling seems to exude an aura of absolute confidence in himself, hence his belief that the Titanic is absolutely unsinkable. Yet near the end of the play, this confidence withers as he becomes panic-stricken due to the chilling final phone call of the play. Now, when I was scripting this, I just whipped that up on the spot, but do you see how I didn't analyse those quotes, which were absolutely unsinkable and panic-stricken? I didn't analyse them, but instead I just put them in there to show the examiners that I know the play. This as long as you do it throughout your essay, will get you plenty of AO1 marks. My second tip is to look over some quotes last minute. Five to ten minutes before your exam, look over some of the key quotes for some poems and your Shakespearean play. Just look over them and three to four is probably best because if you do any more, you probably won't remember them. But the point is that because you're going straight into your exam right after, you're most likely going to remember these quotes and therefore will remember th to use them in your exam. My third tip is to try to find out some relevant facts about the author, playwright or poet beforehand if you don't know any. This is where you get your AO3 marks. I found that the best way to plug these in easily is in your intro or thesis in your essay and then reiterating the same point in the conclusion. Try to get some into the main body of your essay as well. Examples of things you can like put into Google to find out context pretty quickly is why did Shakespeare write Macbeth? What era was he writing in? What were the people and hence the audience like in the era when Shakespeare wrote Macbeth? And it's really important to be able to add this into your essay because it can push you up to getting the much higher marks and therefore much higher grade for your exam. My fourth and final tip is to make sure to plan your essay before you write it. I know a lot of you will think that it's just wasting time, but in my exam, I made sure to plan my essays before I wrote them. And I always found myself going back to look at my plan to make sure I was following it whilst I wrote my essay because that plan was, it wasn't a detailed plan, but it was good enough that it helped me structure my essay properly. That is every tip I had for this video. Good luck on your exam and make sure to like and subscribe because there's more last minute tip videos to come. Goodbye.